Okay, hey everybody. This is Tor, the Undead Chronicler. How's everyone doing today? Uh, today I'm going to be trying a video game called The Bellows. Apparently it's a horror game. This place is creepy as shit. Oh. Dark as hell too. Um, I saw this on PlayStation Store and I figured I'd give it a try. I haven't really played any VR stuff since, uh, well, since Resident Evil 7, really. I mean, I tried that, um, VR experience, uh, Spider-Man thing. I might do a video about that if you don't know what I'm talking about, but, eh. Anyways, um, so, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be trying out this with, uh, the PlayStation Move motion controllers. Take, I'll give it, just, uh, give me a second to set those up and... We'll be on our way. I think you want something. What do you guys think? Hmm? Uh, okay then. Now, um, I tried doing as I said and using the uh, motion controllers, but I didn't get that far because, uh, I think it's because I'm, I'm in a small space, but uh, it, it just didn't wasn't working out. So, use my controller now, hence why I only have one hand in front of me. Huh? It's a nice painting, portrait. What do we have in here? Nothing. sure what to make of this game. It was being sold for pretty cheap, so I'm, I'm not expecting much. I thought I saw something moving there. Anyways, uh, I'm basically expecting it to be like something akin to a haunted house. Like, no actual story, it's just kind of here for little creeps and but <laughs> I couldn't headbutt it. So wait, looks like a Greek vase. I have very good stuff here, apparently. Hello? There's people in my house. Possibly zombies. Not exactly abnormal. Just more than usual. Yeah, this is very haunted house esque. Okay. Look very cardboard. Okay, so 
the finest animation this is not, but uh, seems good enough, I guess. Like, it's, it's nothing uh, compared to uh, Resident Evil 7. I mean, Resident Evil 7 was very good, in my opinion. Beautifully done. But, uh, this seems like one of those, uh, little cheap games you find on Steam, kind of. Like, one of those little horror games that somebody made using, like, uh, I don't know, like a Gmod map or something. Or one of those really cheap horror games that they make on... Made by some, like, one person or small developer. Hello? You the butcher or the doctor? The way most horror games go is their difference. I think my flame went out. Oh. Hey. Oh. Why did you do that, bud? Okay, it wasn't very scary, but, uh... Okay, I'm gonna... See what's going on in here, then. This area looks, uh, different. I'm having odd reminders of Outlast. Well, that and, uh, what else is there? Uh, Until Dawn. I saw something there. So, oh hi. Uh, work RX. So, this is definitely something to do with pharmaceuticals. Uh, hey bud. My That didn't really sound like... Okay. Alright. Oh, let's look at that. Um, there's a shadow, but there's no body. What's this? Looks like a roll. It's either a pill ball or a roll of cash. I cannot tell. Uh, what? What's this? Piece of piping? Or uh. And it sounded like metal, so I'm gonna guess it's a piece of piping. But could be a rope or something. These are kind of cheap ch textures, so. Hmm. This is gonna move out of my way, so. Or it isn't moving out of my way, so. That was that. Oh, I heard someone. 
But then again, I might be hearing it in real life, you know. I do live with other people, so... Could easily just be that. Huh? Okay. Okay, the stall opened. That's a big arse key. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um... You know, my memory is not the best, but I'm pretty sure you weren't here a minute ago. What the hell is... Is that a piece of piping? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm thinking the monster's like, whatever the heck I saw, is like up. So, I put the key in there, now what? Oh, I was supposed to turn the controller, okay. So, that's creepy as balls. Of course, I got no choice but to go in here. Hey, Doc. At least I'm assuming he's a doctor. Hmm. So there were mannequins here. Uh, mannequin head, mannequin head. Holy hell! That's something from the ninth circle of hell. No idea what that is. Don't think I want now. What? Huh. Looks like the beginnings of doom. I. Okay, I think he was just being electrocuted for no reason. Doesn't look like he's having a fun time. Okay. Okay, it's the morgue. Um, expecting one of these to pop open, but. Yeah. Oh. oh! Hey, bud.
Okay, so I go this way. A hey, uh, buddy crawl on the walls. You would have to be a friendly monster, would you? I mean, I've known some friendly monsters. In fact, I am a pretty friendly monster myself. Uh, I don't think that was a no. Uh, I mean, I'm a... What? Oh, shit. The fuck? Hi! Whatever that is, it looks very friendly. It's just waving to everybody. Oh, it's over here. My hand is kind of just disappearing here. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Can I get a light? So we're going down to hell. Enough light there, I think. Ooh, ooh, just. Uh, a second. Just. What was it? Get on you, bye. You know, that's... Oh, that just started up randomly. I guess I could just, you know... Oh well. But yeah, that 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 was a pretty pretty good little jump scare they got there. They had back there. Um, got me. What the? F a little shop of horrors. Question, does it sing? Like, is this the... Was it 1980s version where it sang? Or is this the old black and white version where it doesn't? Oh, I thought there was a way back there. Nope. Just coffins, coffins. Like, I feel like I'm gonna find Dracula down here.
Look, buddy, you're getting a little close there. Oh, boy. What? The bellows. Huh. Okay. Okay, so I was pretty much right. It was uh, just a short little horror game. It was fun though. I liked it. Um, and uh, I would like to see something like that. Maybe, you know, with a story and uh, maybe a full fledged game. I've honestly actually uh, been looking around the PlayStation VR side of the store and uh, I've been noticing a few more games have been coming out, so I think maybe uh, VR is starting to kick off, at least on the PlayStation side of things. There seems to be a few more people who are uh, trying making games. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that they come up with some more because uh, I know it's always been a problem with. Um, PlayStation is they always come up with something like this like there was the like the Vita and PlayStation Portable is a good example where they came up with something that could have been good and it could have been very successful but nobody did anything with it kind of, kind of the issue with VR right now it's there but nobody wants to touch it because it's too new and if nobody does anything with it it will fade into obscurity which is very sad and wasted potential because this does have a lot of potential. And uh, I would love to see more horror games. And uh, there's two types of games I would love to see. Actually, no, maybe three. I would like to see horror, which I've already seen. The other one is mystery. Like something, like uh, maybe like a, like a crime thriller or something like that. That'd be interesting, because I've always loved mysteries. But yeah, and the third one would probably be something like like a superhero game. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's probably not going to be for a while. I mean, I already know we have that Batman Arkham VR thing, but I mean like a full fleshed out game. Uh, yeah. So, um, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to share the video with your friends, hit the share button down below. And uh, if you haven't yet, sure hit the subscribe button because I will be doing more videos like this. I hope to do more stuff with, the, with VR and uh, definitely with horror. As you can tell, my channel is filled with horror games. Um, so yeah, until uh, next time, this is Tor the Undead Chronicler. See y'all next time. Oh, I just heard something out of my left ear. <laughs>